It's a populist government. It's a government based on politics of division. That's what they do. Uh, it's French versus English. It's uh, immigrant versus non-immigrant. It's uh, regions versus uh, the metropolis. I mean, it's a constant division uh, within, uh, uh, within the CAC constantly. That you're mad with François Legault, I can totally understand that because I'm mad myself with what's going on right now. But the alternative that we have is the Liberal Party. And I'm a modern person, I'm an open person, I'm inclusive, I want to undertake all the fights that we need to undertake in order to succeed and change this government. So I believe that, I trust that people are going to see that and say, you know, like, that's really interesting. I met with uh, members of the uh, Anglophone uh, community, English-speaking community, uh, a few days ago, like some members. Some of them had never seen me, had never met me, and they're like, I'm so happy to hear you speak because now we know who you are, and it's really interesting and reassuring. That's what we need to do. That's what we need to do on a daily basis. What I heard on the ground are people telling me that they don't believe that their rights are being defended. What I heard is that people are saying we're fed up with a government that not only doesn't listen, but is deciding on its own and is dividing Quebecers constantly. That's what I'm hearing on the ground. So polls, we're gonna have polls every single week and they're gonna go up and down and we're, like, we're gonna have polls every single week until October. My responsibility is to go on the ground, meet with people, bring new ideas that people are gonna to relate to and make sure that we are truly an alternative in the next election and we have six months to do this. Is this gonna be easy? No, it's not gonna be easy. Of course, we're coming out of a pandemic. It's, uh, I'm, a, I'm a new leader, people have to get to know me. But at the end of the day, this is the fight that I want to do. This is the fight that I want to undertake because I believe that Quebecers deserve better than this government that we have in power. When Bill 96 was presented, we said, okay, uh, what's part of the bill? What are the amendments that we need to make? There are a number of issues with this bill. We could say, you know, we're never going to vote for anything at all, or we can see what amendments can be made and see uh, uh, how the, the government reacts to this. But the reality is, from the get-go, just with justice, we started to have issues with the government because they, they added amendments to the original bill. Same thing they did with, uh, with the CGEPs. Instead of trying to find amendments to improve it, they're trying to make it even worse and more uh, and, and stricter for people. So at the end of the day, you, re you realize, like the, the way they're, they've processed, um, they've, de they've dealt with Dawson, you realize that they say one thing, but they're doing something else constantly. And they have no issue saying one thing one day and going back and saying the opposite the next day. Uh, how is this acceptable? So let, let me be clear. With this bill right now, we can never vote in favor of this bill right now. With all the things that are on the table, all the issues that we're facing, the way the, uh, the, ministry, the minister is, uh, is behaving, I mean, there's, I don't see any way we can vote in favor of the bill. Politics of division is what François Legault is mastering. At the end of the day, uh, I'm a proud Francophone in Quebec, but I can also speak English. I can relate to being a minority myself. Um, and I understand that we can do both at the same time, be a uh, proud Francophone and understanding the rights of minority. And there's no reason why these two things should be opposed. And I've always believed in a Quebec that can do both at the same time. Obviously, it's not possible to do this with a CAC. But there is a better alternative. There is a more inclusive alternative that the Liberal Party represents. And that's what we want to bring forward.